Hey, hey y'all, I'm Tiffany. This is our small town life. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you around our double wide mobile home. We purchased this home new two years ago, put it out here on our little one acre homestead. I've done a couple of home tours and I enjoy going back and watching them and seeing how things have changed. You all seem to enjoy them. I'll link a few down in the description box in case you wanna check them out. You can go all the way back and see what this home looks like when it was empty before we ever moved in. This is a Hamilton Burlington, four bedroom, two bath, double wide mobile home. Y'all, it's a little bit chilly outside today. We're about to head in where it's warm. I'm gonna show you around, but I did wanna start out here so you could see the siding choices that we made. To the best of my knowledge, the Hamilton Homes come standard with a metal roof. This one does have a metal roof. Let's head in where it's warm and I'll show you around. come in the laundry room door and I'll show that in a minute but since we were out front I went ahead and came in the front door and it comes into our living room area now like I mentioned this is a four bedroom two bath home it does have a separate living room and den and that den can be turned into a fifth bedroom but it has served us well as a den all right let me turn you around and show you what it looks like this is our living room and you can see it opens up to the dining room and to the kitchen Y'all, this is very much a lived-in home, real life. We live here. We did tidy it up for the video, but yeah, th this is real life around here. Now, this area, I enjoy having this area right across from the kitchen because the kids play here. I mean, y'all, we got toys out, all kinds of things going on in here, but I can be in the kitchen and see what's going on in this area. We've actually got big plans for this room. We have a really great storage solution that's going to be coming soon. We're going to be redoing this room, reorganizing it, changing some things around, moving some things around. So make sure you stick around so you can be a part of that. Across from the living room is the dining room. And we did choose to have sliding glass doors put off of the dining room. I love that. We built a porch back there. It's winter time. There's not much to see right now, but in the summer, you can see our garden and our chickens. Well, our chickens are back there. Um, but in the summertime, you can see the garden right out of that door. And then our kitchen with this big island, y'all. This, this room in general is probably my favorite in our home just because we do so much in the kitchen. I have never had a kitchen like this before. I love this kitchen and I love this island. We can come in with groceries and sit them on the island. We can prep food here. And the sink and the dishwasher are in the island so i can stand here and be working or doing dishes or whatever i need to be doing and i can see over into the living room y'all there is so much storage in this kitchen and i don't even have to store food in here i'm going to show you where our pantry is in just a minute since we did the last home tour i have put up a backsplash this is a peel and stick backsplash i'll link a video to where we put it up it was so easy and Goodness y'all, it makes a world of difference. I can wipe it down. I was having a problem with things splashing up or splattering off the stove and I couldn't really wash them off the wall very well. That backsplash was super easy to put up and I love having it. This room right here off of the living room is the master bedroom, master bathroom. We'll go in there in just a minute, but let's head down the hallway. Y'all, I get so many questions about this sign right here that says caution, free range children. I got that at a thrift market, antique store. I get asked about that a lot. The first room to the left in the hallway is our pantry. Y'all, we can store food in here. We can store our canned goods in here. I have some, like my brooms and things in here. This has been amazing. To the right, right across from that is the first bedroom. This is the door coming in the bedroom, and then this is the closet. I don't typically open our closets when I do these home tours. I believe I showed in the closets on the very first home tour where it was empty. So if you wanna see that, go and look at that. Uh, they're decent sized closets, especially for you know us using it as kids rooms. They work great. The den is at the end of the hallway. That's where we're working our way to. This room right here on the left, so we've passed the pantry. Now the next room on the left is the laundry room, and this is where we typically 
come in and out. We park back there and we come in and out this door. Y'all can see we <laughs> big family. We do lots of things outside. We keep our boots out here. Across from the washer and dryer, we've got a counter with a utility sink. Lots of great storage out here as well. And y'all, we use that utility sink so much, whether it's soaking clothes that might have stains on them, rinsing things off. We've got animals, so you know, coming in and out, filling up waters or washing waters, those kinds of things. We use that sink all the time. At the end of the hallway is the den. You can make this into an optional fifth bedroom, but we love having the den. It gets used so much. It has a fireplace. We chose to go with, so you, you can you know choose your own paint colors, your own cabinet colors, those kinds of things. Even down to like the wood, we could choose what, what shade we wanted. I chose to have the darker built-in cabinets back here. We have light walls going down the hallway, light walls in the den, and then to have that darker, darker focal wall on the back. I love it. And those shelves obviously are very functional. We have them full. This doorway is across from the den and you come around and there's the bathroom in the center. It's the kids bathroom. And then there's a bedroom on each side. We'll take a little peek in. This is one bedroom. Bathroom. And then the other bedroom. Y'all did a good job cleaning them up. Thank you. Let's head back down the hallway. I'll show you the master bedroom and master bathroom. So walking back down the hallway, something I wanted to point out is a lot of the walls are this, uh, is it sheetrock, I guess, in the main areas, the living rooms, the kitchens, the hallways, in the bedrooms and bathrooms. And y'all kids, like... I'm sure a bat or something got drugged down the wall right there. In the bedrooms and bathrooms, there's what I guess you would like typically call mobile home walls. I've said this before, I'll say it again. I like these walls. The original plan was we were going to come back in and sheetrock the bedrooms, or at least the kids' bedrooms, maybe all the rooms that had this. It wasn't an option for us. Hamilton wouldn't sheetrock, even do an upgrade to sheetrock those rooms. And... So we were like, well, we'll just do it ourselves later on. I'm not doing it anytime soon. I, I like the walls. You can wipe them down pretty easy. I don't, I don't mind them. I like them a lot more than I thought I would. This is the master bedroom right off of the living room. Up until here recently, it was us and two littles in here. We still have one in here that's this baby bed. Uh, we did have another bed over by the window we freed up some space in here uh one of the littles has moved moved on up and upgraded to one of the other rooms and so i don't know it freed up some space in here but this is such a large room like i said it was it was plenty big enough for all of us to be in here i'm really loving this basket wall that i've started over here i'm gonna keep adding to that and then this lamp i found it at an antique store and I really love it. These are the things that I just want to keep adding to this room and really to my home in general. This is the master bathroom. We did upgrade and do the tile shower and I love this shower head that we have. Uh, one of my things that I'm trying to like figure out and maybe y'all have a suggestion is I would like to have some kind of seat in the shower if y'all have got one or know of one or something that we could do that would work well to have a seat in the shower, let me know. Nice big bathroom, separate shower and tub. Got the, I guess you would you call them, his and hers. D double sinks over here. A lot of storage in this room as well in the bathroom. Like this whole cabinet over here is storage. And right around the corner from the shower is the closet, the master closet. This closet takes up the whole, like from one wall, from one end of the shower, all the way over to this wall. On the other side of that is closet, a nice big closet. I've had some people ask me before if it bothers me having the closet in the bathroom. I never really thought about it. Uh, I mean, I've lived in homes where the closet's been in the bathroom and where it hasn't. And I've never really preferred it one way or the other. 
it, it's not even something I'd ever really thought about until some people had mentioned it and asked if you know it was a hassle having it in the bathroom. It doesn't. I mean, it, it works out fine for us. Now, let me just go ahead and tell you, because we keep it real and honest around here, we love our double wide mobile home. We love our home. We love living here. Uh, wouldn't change it. However, there have been some bumps in the road along the way. Just, you know, ordering the home, getting the home here, having some things that needed to be repaired after the home was here, getting them here to make the repairs. Um, th there were bumps in the road. I think that comes with any home buying process though. Any, any home you live in, there's going to be things that come along like that. Overall, we love living here. If you have any questions about mobile home living, about this particular home, again, this is the Hamilton Burlington four bedroom, two bathroom, double wide. If you have any questions about mobile home living, mobile homes, mobile homes in general, this particular one, any questions you might have, feel free to leave them down in the comments. And I would like to do a video coming up answering any of those questions that you might have. And if you want to see more of what our life looks like living in small town USA on our little one acre homestead, we'd love to have you stick around and be part of our YouTube family. That's all for this one. I love you. I appreciate you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all. Don't forget, check out some of those videos I'll link down in the description box if you want to see more about our home. Oh,